Hey guys, what's up? Today I want to show you how to do the in the hand spread. So the in the hand spread looks really good when you want someone to select a card. And this is what it looks like. Then you can say, go ahead and pick a card. Uh, that is probably the widest that you'll go in terms of how to spread it. If you want to keep going, then you can just regroup these cards and then show the bottom half. Um, it's rare that you'll find someone do the whole deck. It's pretty difficult to do. But about halfway of the deck is usually uh, popular to spread. So let's talk about how to do this. You're going to initially hold the deck in the mechanics grip, like so. So you can see the gap there, and three fingers on the side, index on right on top, and the thumb is just resting on the side. To do the spread, you're going to push over the first few cards, maybe the first four or five. And these first initial cards are going to go between the thumb and the index finger, so in the crotch right there. So here's how it works. Your thumb pushes along the edge. The cards, uh, the first card goes right into the crotch there and it just captures those cards. So between the thumb and the index finger. But as you continue to push more cards, these are gonna start resting into the rest of the fingers. So the third, the fourth, and the fifth fingers. So you start spreading. Initially, they go into the crotch of the thumb, but as you continue to spread, these other fingers now begin to support those other cards. Now, as you get more and more cards in your spread, like so, try using these fingers to pull the cards off instead of the thumb pushing. Because when you pull them off, it looks more impressive. So try this. So you then let go of your thumb and see if your other three fingers can pull on the cards. Now, the faster you do it, the more fluid it's going to get, like that. So just practice doing that. So we'll go over this again. You push off the first few cards going to the crotch of your thumb and the index finger. Then as you continue to push more cards, the cards now begin to rest in the other three fingers right there. You continue to push cards above your fingers and try to pull with those fingers instead of your thumb pushing like so. So you should get a pretty good spread, maybe about half the deck. Uh, these fingers are just controlling how many cards you go down, like so. Now your thumb can just be used to spread over more cards and more cards and more cards. Just do it up to the amount where you feel the cards beginning to fall from these fingers here. So you'll, you'll know your limit. When the cards begin to feel like they're falling off, for me it's right about here. You can see those cards are about to fall, like that. So don't spread too much, just do it enough to make it look good, and then the spectator will be impressed. So let's go over this one more time. Once again, push over, push over the first few cards. They go into the thumb and the index finger uh, between, the, between these uh, two fingers. Then as you push over more cards, they rest in the other three fingers, like so. Then you continue spreading, and you can use these fingers to spread over more cards, like so. And then you can use your thumb to push over any amount of cards you want. So that is the in the hand spread. If you have any more questions, please let me know. I think that's a pretty cool way to spread. Oh, by the way, to close it, all you have to do is do the reverse. So use the crutch of your thumb and index finger to push the cards back in, like so. The other fingers can release. Take your hand holding the deck, just let the cards fall together. And then you can use your other hands to square up. So bring your fingers together and, you know, square it up. And that's basically it, the in the hand spread. I hope this tutorial was helpful. I hope you got something out of it. If not, let me know. Uh, send me any questions you may have. And that's it. See you next time.